zone. Final home game of the regular season for the Thundering Herd senior day as some of the Marshall faithful played for the final time at Jones C. Edwards Stadium. The Herd won three straight games coming into the matchup against Georgia State. A win would sweep the month of November and send those seniors off with the bang. Coach Huff and company trying to make it four straight wins to cap off the month. Panthers up 7-0 trying to add on it. Tyquez Legs though makes the stop. Georgia State forced to settle for a field goal. It's 10-0 Panthers lead it. Heard back on offense deep in their own territory. Kalen Laburn finding a hole and took off. Coach Huff blocking our way. But Laburn takes it 83 yards for the touchdown. Marshall on the board. Laburn with an even 100 yards on the day as they cut the deficit to three points. Cam Fancher has really come alive. Scrambling in the pocket, picking up the first down. 69 yards on 10 rushes for the redshirt freshman later in the drive. Fancher flips it over the defender to his tailback. Rasheen Ali for the touchdown. This is Ali's first touchdown of the season. His teammates mobbing him, and it's been a long climb back for the field. For 22, 14 to 10, Hurd lead it. We move to the third quarter. It's quarterback Darren Granger scrambling, looking for a target. A dart into the back of the end zone. Jamari Thrash making the grab. Stone cold with it. Panthers back up 17-14, but here comes Marshall. Fancher buying time. It's Charles Montgomery for six. 200 passing yards, 208 passing yards, two touchdowns from Fancher. 21-17, Marshall's defense making life miserable. Eli Neal, huge hit on Granger. Next play, Granger goes down, courtesy of Kobe, Kobe Cumberlander. Three straight sacks on that play. The Herd had seven on the day. Kobe had three of them late in the fourth on the goal line. Laburn will punch it in from one yard out. 278 yards on the ground for the Thundering Herd rushing offense. Marshall wins their fourth straight 28 to 23 over Georgia State. And more importantly for Coach Huff, he's getting a win for those seniors. Happy for these seniors. You know, I told them at the beginning of the week, you're going to be able to tell this story 20 years from now. Um, and the story is going to end with an and or a but. Either we played, you know, tough in the zone my last game, it was great crowd, great weather, and we won the game. Or we played tough in the zone, it was a great crowd, it was great weather, but we lost. And I told them our preparation throughout the week, our execution on today, uh, would determine if it was and or but. Um, and, and I challenged them at halftime. I said, you got an opportunity to create an and or but, and either we're going to do it together or we're not. And you're going to remember this for the rest of your life. Um, you may not remember what play we call on the 38th play, but you will remember this day and you'll remember this outcome for the rest of your life. Um, and, and I'm glad that they were able to pull it out. Really happy for the coaches. Um, you know, I thought we started off sluggish in the beginning and challenged the coaches to give these guys a chance. Um, you know, and, and, and the whole organization rallied.